In this video, I'm going to show you how to change text directly from the 990 printer. In order to do this, you need to transfer what I will call placeholder characters. To add the placeholder text, you will need to use the PC Set software for the 990 and transfer it to the machine via a PC computer. I have the Reiner PC Set software pulled up. You can see the name on the upper left hand side. In order to add text, all you have to do is left click and drag down a text box. Then you can type in the characters that you want. I'm going to do two individual imprints. I'm going to transfer two prints to the machine. Uh, you can transfer up to 25 unique imprints in the machine at one time. You can see all of these numbers correlate to an imprint. So I'm going to go to 2, drag down another text box, click OK, and then I'm going to do a second line of text. I did use lowercase characters, however, only uppercase characters are supported within the machine, so it will automatically change that for me. You can see that here. Now, in order to transfer the information to the machine, all you have to do is plug in the machine via the cable that comes with it. It has a USB that needs to go into your computer, and then the micro USB end goes into the printer. Once you plug it in, you can see that this machine with a green arrow illuminated and if I hover over it it says transfer click on it progress bar goes and it says transfer successful I'm going to say OK I'm going to pause the video and then bring you down to the printer to see the next step so here we are looking at the transferred information to the machine right here you can see it says P01 that's the page if I click next You'll see it changes to P02, and you can see the two-line imprint. You cannot add additional characters directly from the machine. So if you all of a sudden decided you wanted an 11-digit uh, number here for placeholder text, you would have to actually go back to the PC set software and transfer 11 digits. In order to change the text that you have, all you have to do is click the left button that says NO slash TXT, you'll see text one. That equals the top line. Uh, if we were to use, if click to the right, you'll see text two, that's the bottom line. If we were on page one, which only has one line, you'll only see the text one, even if you click left or right. So in order to change the character, all you have to do is click set the character will start to blink and then you click one of these buttons left or right to go up or down. If you hold on to the button instead of clicking and letting go you will move through the characters very quickly. Let's say I transferred nine placeholder characters but I only want to print eight. If you go down one below zero you'll see this underscore and that equals a blank placeholder. So this would only print two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine now. If I want to start editing the character to the right, I click next. I can edit that character. Next, I can edit, edit this character. So on and so forth. If I hit return, it will stop everything from blinking and if I hit return again, I will go back to the imprint that is updated with the blank placeholder character. So I'll do that to line two as well. Just so you see, number slash TXT. I'm gonna edit text two. go through these like that so you can see. I'll change that one character and then return. And then if I wanted to go back to text one, when, as long as a character is not blinking, I can switch between text one and two. Return again brings me back and you can see the edit 991. That's the character that I edited.
So you can see it's very simple. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. This is Stephanie Meir from AMI, and we look forward to assisting you with your marking and coding projects.